Greetings gamers, welcome to another Laser Corn Channel video. Today, we are about to enter the world of Cyberpunk Red. And here to guide us on this technological journey, technological, here to guide us on this technological <laughs> journey, uh, Zach of Hyper RPG. Zach, what are we doing? Woo. Welcome, everyone. I would like to apologize ahead of time for anything and everything the Laser Corn has done or put together for us. Don't push my buttons, they're highly flammable. It's a bomb! <laughs> I am already very excited for how this is going to go. This is great. Welcome everyone to the Time of the Red. We are going to be embarking on a short journey through the cyberpunk landscape using the new Cyberpunk Red Jumpstart Kit. Now, I do want to say right off the bat, let it be noted that we'll be playing a subset of the rules that are even lighter than those provided in the Jumpstart Kit because laser corn's easily confused. <laughs> That's very true. I specifically asked for this. I'm like, simplify it as much as possible. Baby rules. <laughs> yeah. We are using baby rules today. I am Zach Eubank, a co-owner of Hyper RPG, Game Master Extraordinaire, but through this system, you will be referring to me as your referee, mm -hmm. which is kind of strange. I've never actually been somebody's referee before. Yeah. I what feel you like that's, I feel like it's apt in this given search okay. situation, though. Uh, and joining me on this Shirley death and mayhem filled adventure Please don't is. Please call me Shirley. Oh, we're not doing. I'm sorry. We're not doing the typical going around the table. We have uh, put together brief intro videos. Roll them. They call me Shred Shot. I'm a net runner, which means I can beat your meat space defenses with my custom programs and elite hacking skills. By the way, Zach tells me that meat space is the opposite of, like, VR space, so th the line, beat your meat space, is referring to, it's not beating anyone's meat space. You get it. Zach said it's a thing. I think. The name's Amethyst, former lead singer of Manic Death Robot and current merc for hire in Night City. I lost everything I loved when the new kid. Family, music career, life as I knew it. Now I just survive. But I'd love to figure out what actually went down that night the bomb dropped. I am called Zix. My vast mechanical knowledge allows me to upgrade all sorts of things. Weapons, body parts, other weapons. Uh, hmm. Ooh, did I say weapons yet? Anyways, my modifications give my friends an incredible tactical advantage over our enemies. Or puts them in extreme danger. Either way, things will explode. <laughs> and isn't that what matters? The name's Jin. I gotta make a living somehow, and I ain't about to be some corpo wage slave. So, I joined a bounty hunting team, and I guess they're all right. It's a simple arrangement, really. They point me in the direction of the heads that need smashing, and I smash them. What? We said cheap, clunky videos it's on not cell phones! It's not like it was a blatant... Okay, it's a blatant... Uh, You're making this your look bad on purpose! That no. is an excellent cell phone. I would like to change my provider Listen, to that cell phone. Listen, my friends and I have put in a lot of time, energy, love, and I'm stuff into this into this uh, short. So please go watch it and su subscribe all to my right, channel. All right, Diva. If, yeah. Okay. So all, all right. that work I did on the character intros, that's... that's yeah, no, we're scrapping that. Sorry. Sorry. Great. The magic of editing. Great. Well, let's get started with I the like rules. I like the paragraph that you wrote for me, Zach. I didn't actually read it. I didn't figure you did. So for nearly all actions today, you will be taking your stat plus 1d10. All right, boring. Editing powers go. Speed through this. <laughs> That's not how Let's get into the story. <laughs> Maybe we should have actually sounds... paid attention to the rules, not but okay. I guess not. not. Shall we begin? Yes. Let's get into the story. <laughs> the year is 2045. The place is Night City, California, a city in the free state of Northern California before the massacre of 2023. It was rumored to be near around 5 million people. Nobody's thought to run a census since then, uh, but it's estimated that you lost around 2 million Chumbadas in the blast and the following fallout. The sky turned red. The fourth corporate war had taken its toll. Everyone lost someone but some of us lost a lot more. In the years that followed the massacre, not unlike any other time in Night City, you did what you had to do to survive. And any tragedy that are those that profit off of the misfortune of others. These edge runners like to think that they are different, but they are not. The years have hardened them. Currently, our Merc Squad, uh, MDR, Manic Death Robot, that was 
Your choice, right? Yes. Okay. I came up with the band name. Murder, Death, Kill would have been cooler, but. Nope, that would look fine. crappy on a t-shirt. Mm. Well, I, I said Merc Squad, but he just spoiled that they were a band oh, at one point. They all relax currently on the Upper East Side Rocker Hangout Cafe Chrome. A, uh, a hip throwback with good chew and good tunes. What more could you want after kicking in the shit of some boosters for some good eddies? So currently, our group here, the MDR, you've just got back from this job that you successfully completed. Uh, what do you have in there? Amethyst, says uh, Bonks McGee, the local barkeep here at Cafe Chrome. Do you have any spiked hot chocolate? Of course. Thanks. Of course. That sounds good. Amethyst, order me one of those too. You Make could order for yourself. What? No. I'm busy. I got stuff going on. Make it two. He's been coming in here for 10 years. He's never once looked me in the eye. Well, I don't know. It must be something with you then. He scares me. Bonks McGee is about a four and a half feet tall, very scrawny man with large sunglasses that are pink around the rims. He's got some very long dangling, uh, um, ear piercings, and a uh, very friendly looking individual, in fact. Short people frighten me. Yeah, I get it, man. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, what about you, uh, Zix, Jen? I would like some water with half ice. Not full ice. That takes away from some of the liquid. Water with ice, it, it just let you all know your tab is getting quite high and adding things like water on there is gonna be quite expensive. I have fine tastes. I need my water. Fair enough, fair enough. <clears throat> we got the money. Are you done, baby? We don't mm -hmm. know. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right. I'll take your hardest drink, make it a double. All right. You got it. The barkeep exits behind the bar, leaving the four of you to yourselves for the time being. Well, that went well, I guess. Well, yes, if you count well as a success, yes, I guess it went well, yes, sure. Well enough that Zix could get his water. Yes. <laughs> if you count you tripping over yourself five times in that one mission. That's not tripping. It's getting to where I want well. to be very slowly. You're like, yeah, I love you, like a wounded dog. They are cute, yes, yes. <laughs> are you actually wounded? Because it looked like you took some fire in there. Nope, everything's completely fine now. I've added some modifications, so now my damage is very minute. Hold okay. on a minute, uh, what modifications did you add, in fact? I cannot discuss the secrets of my modification. Just for the clarity of the rest of the group, then, there are currently no modifications. He's just making this shit up as he goes. <laughs> okay. What's this box? I haven't seen this box before. It's not a box. I made it. Look at this. It's nice and compact, and then when it opens up, it goes. What does it do? Please it's roll your intelligence for me with one or your one d10. Add your intelligence on that if you could. And that's going to be a difficulty of competent. Um, I am. I am quite intelligent, though. Uh, are you Are you trying to use a skill with this uh, check as well? Uh, I have an intelligence of ten. Uh, and, um, Quite um, mm. um, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. And, Would you like uh, to use your basic? I am a local expert of uh, plus four plus that seven or plus that three equals a seventeen. That's one below competent. Competent difficulty value was an eighteen. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's some information I should have known beforehand. Um, <laughs> as you began working on this and taking it out of your, he's, he begins hitting a lot of buttons, and you start to hear this sound of like a like a motor whirring up. Mm -hmm. I don't remember adding a motor. Is that safe to open yeah. in here? Probably Six? not. Okay, you know what? Just before anyone yeah, freaks take out. Yeah, that away. Okay. Or turn it off. Make I it stop making that. the noise. The I noise continues it. escalating in value, uh, rising at a higher and higher pitch. <laughs> Zix, <laughs> throw it outside, Zix. He got it. Oh, it's connected to him, of course. That's why we don't want him in places. Just push him outside. I don't want to lose it. Okay. I would like to push Zix outside. <laughs> But I don't want to wait outside. It's very cold. You push him out the door, okay. and as the door shuts, immediately a like, and a cloud of smoke rises from outside the door. Um, I'm okay. Can you mark four damage for me that you just took off that oh, small explosion? No. I am slightly okay. Uh, you see a puff of smoke rising from his chest, and it looks like his eyebrows have been burnt <laughs> off. Uh, you all right, buddy? I am dealing with some very high-powered, exclusive explosives. Great. 
Yeah. I'm not yet completely sure how they work, but I'm feeling pretty confident moving forward. That was hilarious. Here's your water. Thank you. Cheers to that. On the upside, he didn't blow any of us up. Very true. Should water taste like zinc, or is that just me? Ooh, that's mine. Okay. Ooh. All right, guys, we need to get serious. I mean, we completed a gig, but we're only as good as our next gig. I mean, does anyone have any leads on any jobs that we could actually do? You start to hear this sound coming from the back of the restaurant on the west side. People screaming, things crashing, and you see a large individual moving through the crowd, pushing people off to the side as he walks, yelling out, MDR! Where the fuck is MDR? Uh, hi. That's us. What can we do for you? Picks up an individual by the shirt and goes to throw it directly at Amethyst. Um, I'm gonna immediately uh, stand up on the bench of the booth that we're at and mm -hmm. see if I can catch the person in a way that I kind of roll with it and get them down safely. Do you have any skills you'd like to try to do that with? Um, I would like to do that Fair with uh, maybe evasion. I can use evasion to kind of like, if they're coming directly at me, kind of take them and parkour it around my body a little bit and I'll, set them down. I'll allow it. Roll that, uh, roll that 1d10, very add your reflex you. as well. Okay. I think. Did you say very burrito of you? Close. Okay. Have your water. Uh, so add my reflex, add evasion. That is a 20. It's a 20. Uh, very easily is this individual. Oh! comes flying through the air, kind of grab and dance with this random stranger, setting them down lightly, much to the surprise of this individual who's standing around seven and a half feet tall, quite augmented in fact, walks directly towards the group to, uh, to make conversation, we'll say. Oh, hey, no one throws people at Amethyst. I would like to punch this guy. So before any talking happens, you just like- He just threw a guy at one of our teammates. I need everyone to roll their initiative for me here, which hey, is going hey, to be hey, hey, hey. Your, uh, your reflex added to your 1d10. I need all four of you to roll that. Okay. Okay, I have an 11. 11 as well. 11. I have a 16. Well, much- Luckily for you all, it, it looks like Zix is gonna get to go first. As you rear back to punch this individual, we'll say that he's coming in directly from the door. Why don't I go ahead and make this visual for you? Uh, the door to this entrance is around right in here. Uh, we'll say he's by the door, and because Zix was outside uh, after he took that little blast, and you're about here, <laughs> Zix is gonna be able to intercept that the fastest. Hmm. The rest of you here at the bar. Now, uh, Zix, how would you like to respond to this situation? Uh, I yell out, MODIFICATIONS! As my giant nucks pop out of my cyborg arms, which are <laughs> technically just these nunchucks that come out, and I swing them as I jump behind them and hit them in the head. So, for clarity's sake, nucks. your big nucks, nucks. are nunchucks. <laughs> big yes. nucks. What? Those are nucks, right? Makes sense to me. Um, so you're just gonna, you're gonna <laughs> swing directly at those. You've modified your nuts? Yes. <laughs> now they're big. They were right. small. Big swinging nuts. Big nuts. All oh, right, so you're going to... You know, not yet. Given That's that that nuts. is a, uh, a melee weapon, we're going to say roll your uh, dexterity for me, add a plus three to it with your 1d10 there. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That's a good roll. Uh, that would be... Uh, with my dexterity is a 5, plus that 7 is a 12, plus 3 is a 15. A 15? Yes. Uh, that's going to hit as you do, it looks like, quite a bit of damage. Uh, just for the record, we have modified the damage values just to make things move a lot faster for this and keep things understandable for laser corn. So that's 18 damage, goes directly through. Tell me how you hit this individual and what happens. Uh, I jump up because of his large stature and cross my arms in a motion where both of my giant knucks hit at once on the sides of his head. So as they hit, boom, on both sides, he grabs you in the air and he's uh -oh. kind of holding you despite the fact that he is quite dazed. He's, what the, f what the hell, man? Uh, excuse me, sir. Would you like some modifications while I am in too close proximity of you? All right, shred shot. I'm coming, Zix! I, I don't, don't need you. Please don't shoot towards me. What? I, I, I'm not shooting. <laughs> okay, good. I, I run over and I want to Superman punch this guy. I want to jump and swing at him. Please don't miss. Okay, for the record, you are a net runner. Right. Great. So I want to run up a net. <laughs> and... uh, go ahead and you know let's do your brawling. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, that's going to be dexterity. He's been watching cyber wrestling. Oh, oh, he's my totally dex is squishy yeah, he's, I don't think he can do this. Four, and then uh, I wait. I have. I do have brawling. I get plus four. You get a plus four on that brawling, and yeah. you're gonna. I'm gonna have you add that to your body. So that's gonna be a nine thirteen. Uh, my body. Yeah, you're gonna be up at thirteen. Let me. You know, you do hit. Believe it or yes! not. Yes. You run, jump wow. across, flying through the air, punch this individual right in the jaw, and you can feel as your hand hits it though, solid metal. He's, he's taken quite a few augmentations, and it looks like oh. those nunchucks were able to do quite a bit of damage to his metal skull, but your fist only doing five damage, which is your default value for brawling, by the way, okay. that we decided upon. Uh, we forgot right. to tell you. As that five damage kind of hits his jaw, you're gonna take four damage to yourself. Ouch. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, yeah, I, you should you probably know, I think he's made of metal. Underneath. Amethyst, uh, you have an opportunity here. Now, as the, sorry to break it to the rest of you, leader of MDR, this given that you know the rules of this game, well, we'll say as the leader <laughs> of MDR, you have quite the reputation. Yeah. I would say uh, Manic Death Robot been around on the scene for a while. There are opportunities in this system to avoid combat and use your reputation to frighten someone out of combat. Okay. Would you like to attempt yeah, to Yeah, yeah, so? yeah, yeah. So I'm still standing on the booth from setting the gentleman that was thrown at me down and I'm just gonna yell, hey, everybody knock it off. This guy wants to hire us for something. My big knucks retract. Go ahead and roll your cool. Okay. Uh, and because of your reputation, which is, I believe, quite extensive. Let's let's see here. Uh, this, this will give a little clue to people who are wondering where you're at in the world and uh, people that know you. Oh, of course, this system is. I'm I mean, glad this Laser Corn. I came made in this. the bar asking for MDR. And then throwing people at you, he drops. Zix, as you're kind of uh, where you're standing, uh, we're gonna say you're standing on a table inside this cafe. Mm -hmm. You're towering over him, looking over the crowd directly at him, and he's made direct eye contact with you. We need to talk. All now. right. You're the one who came in here. The family's gathered, talk. You stole my last gig. <laughs> that was my job. Well, maybe you should have done it. We bid for it, won the bid, and we get there, and they said the job's already done, and the MDR took it. Gotcha. Future yeah. arms race tyrants had that job. Your name is stupid. And we- Their name is Fat Future Arms Race Tyrants. Future fart. Arm Race Tyrants. Then it's yes. Fart, which is worse. No, it's Future Arms Race Tyrants. It's funny, right. like but if you turn it into an acronym. Here. I'm either drunk Sorry. or that's hilarious. May the most effective team get the gig. Yeah, Drunk. we got to it first. It's not our fault, we had a tip. We knew where it was, we took down the targets. You hear a loud boom. Wasn't me. Zix. Did not do it this time. And before you can think. even react to the direction of that boom, you see the face of this large individual just disappear. And oil and blood kind of in an equal measure starts spouting out from his neck as oh. his very large body falls directly on Zix as Zix is now kind of trapped under his large body. Okay, maybe I did it. I honestly don't know at this point in time, but can you get him off of me? Bonks McGee is standing with a shotgun behind the counter. No fighting in the cafe. You all know the rules. Okay. Yeah, it's, I, I think we should follow that rule. It Get this like a good piece rule. of shit out of here! Please. A couple of individuals from behind the bar kind of grab his feet and start dragging him off of Zix. Oh. As he drags off of Zix, a large collection of black oil and blood kind of smears down his Ooh. now Ooh. singed face. Yeah, don't don't eat the. It's Zix. grade B oil. It's very uh. rare. Okay. Cool. I'm just gonna sip my. Modifications were made yeah. about three weeks ago. Before he can get up, a hand reaches down Zix to lift you up off the floor. At first it's hard for you to see who it might be given that all the oil and blood currently Why covering your eyes. Why do people keep lifting me? It's a hand to help. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> it kind of lifts you up and you can see through your blurred vision, this is a friend. Your information broker, oh, private yeah. investigator, Vomit. Oh, aren't hey. you a sight for sore eyes? 
Thanks. I, you know, I, I, I had that right there. You know. So you got yourself in a little bit of trouble there, Zick. Yeah, not more than normal. You know me. I got a few modifications to get me out of trouble anytime. Yep. All right, everybody, drinks on me. Ooh, Job like well done guy. tonight. Mm. Job well done. One more yeah. water, please. I'll, I'll get the roundy bot already. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. On me, on me, Mickey. Cool, thanks, I'll man. drink to that. Mm. Yeah. I like your makeup. Thanks. Hi, Vomit. Good to see you again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good to see you, Shredshot. Yeah. Keeping so, yourself out of trouble? Well, well, you know, he didn't tell us uh, that the last marks we went after were all dorked up, so, you know, trying to keep myself out of trouble. But uh, I would I'd like my information broker to provide a little more information next I gave time. you what I had. Hmm, okay. All right. I should have probably let you know, too. Uh, I, I kind of cross-bid on that one, and it, but it looks like the problem's resolved itself as oh, his body really? gets drug out yeah. the front door. Yeah, because you did tell us we had that job, and apparently Fart over here thinks they had that job. <laughs> had that job. Fart boy, yeah. You know, I'm just doing my place to ensure that one way or another the job gets done. Hmm. But mm -hmm. as expected, MDR always with the results, so thank you for that. Really do appreciate it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ask me how many explosions we used. How many explosions did you use? Three and a half. The half was a little bit more on the accidental side, but it kind of got the job done at the time. Is the half what you're wearing on your face? Yeah. Well, the credits have been transferred. Really do, uh, you know, appreciate it. But that's not why I'm here. No? Something else came up. Tell us what it is. A couple uh, individuals came to me recently. They got a kid that's missing. Now, I know you're not usually in the, the retrieval business. Is it my kid? Do I have a kid? Should someone tell me if I have a kid? God, I, don't I, I have not. a kid. I don't deal with kids, man. All right, open up your agents. I'm sending you the video now. Okay. So Vomit sends over this video. Each of you get it around the same time on your uh, little agent on your wrist. As you look down, you see two individuals. It's a very old video, quite distorted. And they're going on and on, please, please, I, we need your help. Our, our son, Germ, he's, he's been missing for weeks now. We, we can't find him anywhere. And they go on and on like this for a good couple minutes. And they make a couple key statements that might be of interest to you, one of which that he has the online username Germination69 for his local net name. Of course he does. 69. <laughs> name. That he's 14 years old, never been outside of his parents' care. In Night City. Please, it, uh, we'll pay anything, any any amount. We just want our son back. He yeah. clicks off the video, and that's why I'm here. Do we know this family, this kid? Well, see, I, I, I've been working on this gig for a while myself. I came across the old uh, Germinator 69 on the local net forums. The post was about a concert that's coming up, a virtual one. This kid, it, it literally reads, I would give my left nut for MDR to slash. Is his left nut worth he's, anything? He's a fan of Manic Death Robot? We haven't played in, yeah. God, like 15 years. The real kicker though, I ran a trace on that chip uh, that was posted, and it was from a brain dance session, like from inside. But there was, the kid was using some sort of proxy. In fact, all of his forum posts on the local net, all of them coming from some sort of brain dance session. I didn't think anyone other than junkies were still using that shit, but this concert's taking place inside of a brain dance. Oh. Hmm. hmm. How are we supposed to play when we don't have a drummer anymore? You know, he accidentally went, you know. Oh, you'll figure it out. Jin here, you could do it, right? I just don't know I'm... if I want to be a part of your band that was popular 15 years ago, you know? Uh, technically, 20. Our t-shirts were awesome. Right. Anyway, we don't have to play. We just gotta grab this kid, and then how much did you say this family's paying? Well, I mean, they didn't give it a mouth. They said they'd pay anything, so I say we extort them for everything we can. Yeah. What's the deposit so far? I'm not willing to share that information at uh -huh. the moment. I... Take vomit by the throat. Roll your reflex for me, if you don't mind. Hmm. With your 1d10. 13. So you, you grab him by the neck and start to lift him up off the ground. His toes are dangling. Now, surprisingly, he doesn't seem too upset by this. And you start to see like a grin forming on his face. All right. What do you want, Jen? Tell us everything. You're I told keeping, you everything. You're keeping so much from us, ah, I can tell. I would never do that to you. Tell I much. Like she would do that. I tell us do that. how much. I mean, I'm, I'm throwing you 2.5 mil up front. That is Good. way more than I thought it was going to be. Anything else, boys? Uh, a churro. Ooh, I need another set of AAA batteries. I've used the last ones on my laser gun. We've got 
supply money for that kind yeah. of stuff. I think we're fine we'll now. We'll another retainer. No, we're good. Yeah, put him down. I think he's no, getting no, up. No, 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 Batteries no, 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 for the baby, no, no, too. No, no, no. Yes. Yeah, whatever you want. Just keep, keep holding me up here. This is no, he's getting Wait. up on this. Please put him no, down. No, no, he's no, gripping keep, me keep out. Keep holding me. No, keep holding. This is good. This is good. I oh. grip just a little bit tighter. Oh, that's Ooh. the stuff. Oh, God. Why are you doing that? That's the stuff. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. I, 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 make sure I put him down. That was so close. All right. That's, that's really gross. That wow. was fun for me. Vomit and gin, who knew? <laughs> There's nothing happening here. Uh -huh. I just want you to know that. Yep, sure. Yeah, that's why you gripped them tighter. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bada bing, bada boom, we're gonna get paid, right? Yeah. Tomorrow tomorrow night we'll meet at your place. Can we take a night to yeah, Tomorrow stuff? morning. Tomorrow morning? The gig's Whoa, tomorrow. Oh, okay. morning? It's... I'm kind of a sleeping kind of person. Yeah, it's a missing kid, though. Just make sure it's in their promotional materials that will be there. We'll send them like, I don't know. Ooh, their social some media marketing. old image that exists somewhere yeah. on the internet. Also, the R in Manic Death Robot is always backwards. I want to make sure they get that right. You know, this could be a chance to fix that. No, no, it's supposed to be backwards. It's a style it's thing. Supposed to be? We'll see you tomorrow. Why'd Probably. you all ever stop being a band anyway? Our uh, drummer exploded. Poof. So why don't you just focus on getting us some information and find it, helping us find this kid. Okay, yeah. all right. I'll go try to grab some more stuff and I'll see you all in the morning. Missing kid, huh? I feel like we haven't done anything that carried that kind of weight yeah. emotionally in a while. Yeah, and it'll be cool, you know, not having to blow people up and actually getting Whoa, to reunite a family. I just don't want to rule out the actual idea of not needing to blow anything up. Maybe? We can definitely still use your talents. Nice. Yes. Bonks McGee from behind the bar taking a drink. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's uh, not really much emotional weight and just killing people for money, right? But saving a kid, that's <laughs> some deep shit. Yeah, Bonks has a point. You know, you're less creepy. You're less creepy than I gave you credit for earlier. <laughs> you wanna you wanna stop looking at my feet when you talk to me? No. I need to rest. My hand might be broken. I don't know if I should splint this or get If you would like to or... throw me your hand, I can add some modifications Nope, to that it. will not be happening. Oh, come on. I've got like three new modifications You exploded less than 10 minutes ago. Dude, Zix. Why would I trust you? The modification he did on my finger is slamming. Yeah, look at it. And a uh, uh, little blade pops out of my finger. <laughs> one time. One time he did a job right. It's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm not, saying. I'm not risking it. All right, fine. Give, give me like a super robo hand. What would you like to do? <laughs> um, I would like to add a static charge to it where he could touch something or someone and it would zap them. Cool. Okay, so tell me what you're hand. gonna use around you to do it. Walk me through it and then I'll tell you what to roll. Um, so role play through it for me. What, you, what, what are you grabbing around are, are the bar? Are we back? Oh, we're at You're the bar. You're still at the bar. We're still at the bar. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, uh, oh, barkeep, can you send me one of those uh, the little uh, uh, power cores real fast? I need the inner workings of it. Uh, yeah. McGee reaches under the bar and puts like a large battery down on the table in front of you. Okay, toss me your hand. All right, so if we uh, take out the metal coils from the inside with the positive and the negative conductor, and we actually place that in the palm of his hand and then connect to his middle finger to his wrist, where when the wrist outreaches for someone, the shock will actually go through his middle finger, zapping whatever it is, or shoot back into him. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm going to have you roll your uh, tech with the added skill of basic tech. So it's going to be a 7-9. You you're already at a 16. Yeah. This is a competent thing you're doing. All you have to get is a 2. Oh, I got a 3. Barely successful. Barely successful. As you start to feel this weird power surge connecting with the nerves in your hand. At first it stings a little bit. Ah! It causes a little bit of pain. And then it starts to like rework the bones that were broken in your hand. Uh, go ahead. Why don't you roll... Your, uh, let's see, what's a good roll for um, whether or not you keep your shit? Roll your cool with a d10, and this is just gonna be everyday challenge. Four plus eight is my cool. So that's not gonna happen. That was a 14 difficulty on that everyday. So uh, you just start weeping like a little baby on the floor as these 
bones are starting to like reform in your hand through the tech that's been added. Now you do now have an elect electronic ah! hand. Ah, oh. Taser head! Oh, it hurts! I would it hurts, but it's a taser head! I could have warned him. I forgot uh. to mention that since you are right-handed, anytime you go to masturbate, I would highly recommend using some form of rubber protection on your hand, because oh. you don't want to zap wow. down there. Your dick's gonna Six, have to I'm be... I'm gonna kill you! Yeah, your dick's gonna have to be grounded. I'm gonna kill you! All right, lefty. And I guess... Uh, Please no explosions, me. but this is hilarious. Don't call me Lefty. I kill Zix. <laughs> uh, this is well worth staying around. So on that note, we're going to take a quick recap of where we are with MDR right now. Uh, it sounds like you've got a new job. You're going to have to go into a brain dance session, hack in, find this kid, and hopefully retrieve his actual body. And to do that, you're going to have to be put onto the set list as the band you once were. 20 years ago, before Manic the death blast. Robot. Manic the reunion death tour. robot. So that is it for session one of this adventure. I only exploded one time. That's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna let anyone heal in between, by the way. Oh, not as impressive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, oh, I thought we were gonna go back to our place and heal, no? We don't heal? I'm not letting that happen. Oh, no. okay. No, okay. these, these awesome. are short sessions, you're keeping that shit. Keeping my damage, yeah. all right. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Next session coming soon. Uh, th big thanks to uh, Zach for hosting us here in the Hyper Woo! RPG Studios. Check them out. There'll be a link in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next session. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure and check out Mari's Coyote Sunset short. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Also, the animations in this video were done by Lumpy Animations. You can check out his YouTube channel uh, right over here.